What is up guys? How are you guys doing today? I'm gonna be doing a special challenge involving me and Minecraft. I'm gonna be trying to make my 2010 iMac crash in Minecraft. This is gonna be a fun video. Now bear in mind guys, I'm recording a video that will impact the frame rate. So maybe while I'm recording the video that could even make the screen recorder glitch out and lag just because if the Minecraft is lagging because of like TNT or something, and the webcam could also lag too. So I'm gonna hop into a brand new world and I'm gonna call it, okay, I'm gonna try all my methods that I know and I might Google search some. So I'm gonna try making, making computer crash. That's what I'm gonna call this world. And it's gonna be my favorite speed ever, which is capital notch. Like that in 1.12.2, if you wanna join the same world as me, you guys can do that too. So now, I'm gonna create the brand new world and that is gonna be our challenge to make my computer crash. Now bear in mind, the computer I have is not the best in the world, but it's not a terrible one. It's a desktop, which means, therefore, it should get better performance than a given laptop or something such as that. Let me adjust the camera for a moment. So, we are in the world that I wanted to generate. It's the world called Notch, as you guys can see. Um, let me just see. I know what this world has. This world has like a village that's close to spawn. Let me turn back on view bobbing. Give me a minute. There we go, guys. So I'm gonna go find our village here. I think it should be somewhere around spawn point. I'm gonna find it, guys. <clears throat> okay, where's the village? Where's the village? Let me slash rotate village. Huh? Okay, there's no village feature. I thought there was a village in this world. I remember joining this world before. Um, I guess not. Maybe I will have to build a village and then just destroy it that way. So, well, maybe I might go on top of this mountain, guys. So, the first thing I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be exploding a bunch of TNT. That's going to be the premise of our video today. So, I'm going to go in my inventory. I'm going to get TNT. And then I'm going to get flint and steel. What just is this? This is what I'm going to be grabbing. So I'm going to try to see what explosion, what damage we can do to my computer by just exploding. Uh, not very much TNT. My computer should be able to handle this fairly well. Yeah, and that, that wasn't terrible at all. That was like nothing for the computer. The computer could easily have handled that explosion. Okay. Now I'm going to add a lot more TNT, guys. So basically what I'm going to be doing... I'm going to be adding a ton of TNT here, trying to make my computer crash within this silly little block game. And that's what I call it. It, it is a block game. It's made for, like, five-year-olds. This is what the game is premises, so. Oh, I accidentally lit it. Okay, well, let's just see what this does to my computer. Okay, we're seeing some glitches. That wasn't even that bad. There's a lot of experience down here. As you guys can see, that explosion was pretty big, but it didn't really do much to my computer. Okay then, let me find the village. I don't know where that village went. Uh-oh. Okay. Now we're back here. Let me just do something cool. I'm gonna go into... Um, I'm, I might Google search ways to make Minecraft crash intentionally, guys. That's what I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna go ahead and exit out of Minecraft for a second here. And I'm gonna go onto Google Chrome. Okay. So we're on Google here, on my main account. I'm gonna Google how to make Minecraft intentionally, intentionally crash. Let's go. So there's a YouTube video here. I'm not sure if I wanna watch a YouTube video that could make, okay. Player can trigger a, a crash manually by holding F3 and C. We try holding F3 and C, guys. Is that what we should try? So I'm gonna hold down F3 and C. C is also my zoom in key. That's not doing anything. F3. Oopsies. F3C. F3C. Did nothing. Well, that method's obviously wrong. I'm guaranteeing that. <coughs> What if I give myself a command block? 
And then I want to fill that command block with just straight up just igniting TNT or maybe with like chickens or something, guys, or something with, with like that could make my computer lag a lot. That could be a good thing to do. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go into this this uh, forest area over here and let's just do that. And keep in mind, guys, whenever I'm not recording a video, this frames per second is usually in the 200s, 300s, or even sometimes 400s or 500s of FPS. That's just because since I'm recording a HD video, that's why that's why it's not in the hundreds. It's locked to, to V-Sync. It sounds just locked to 60. Sometimes it goes below, sometimes it goes above. All right, so I'm going to find an area here. Uh, like where? I'm going to go around this forest. Let's go right here. Okay, that was fast clicking. I'm gonna go right here. So I'm gonna go slash give my name Minecraft colon command block. There. So I gave myself a command block. I'm gonna place the command block down. Oops, you said. Okay, that's very nice. Let's place it down. Why can't I place it down? Practically I'm using an Apple mouse. Let's do slash summon Minecraft colon chicken at these coordinates. 70. Okay guys, so I, you're probably going to start noticing the lag in the video and because of all the chickens, um, it's probably going to make the bitrate of the actual video go down so it might look a little bit more pixelated than normal. Sorry for that, that's just the price you have to pay for trying to crash your com- oh my god, for trying to crash your computer- oh my god, there's so many chickens, it's not even lagging at all. Oh my goodness, look at this, guys. It, it could start lagging the video, too. I'm sorry. Oh, yeah. There's so many chickens, guys. Once once this drops below 30, because I'm recording the video at 30 FPS, once that number drops below 30, you guys are going to start noticing the lag in the actual video now. So, I'm not sure how long I'm going to let this go for. Maybe for about five minutes I'm going to let this go for. Um, I don't know. I'm just gonna, like, sit here. So the premise of this, I'm trying to crash my computer with chickens. What if I add a second command block? That would be so dumb. But, wait, what if I go ahead? Oh my god, the game's almost unplayable at this moment. Oh my goodness, guys. Right click on the command block. What if I copy and paste this now? Oh. How do you copy and paste with all of us? Okay. I think I copied it. Now I'm gonna paste it into another one. Oh my god, it actually works. Okay, then let's do a third one. I'm gonna paste this. Repeat, always active. There we go. Oh my goodness. Wait, why is it not doing anything? Oh, it's still spawning more above here. That's exactly what it's doing. Oh yeah, right. Woo! Two frames a second, one FPS. Let's do a fourth one, shall we? Let's do a fourth one. Jesus! This is unplayable, guys. I'm sorry, the recording might actually crash. I don't even know. Okay, let's paste it again. There we go. Let's click done. Oh my... Wait, that didn't even do anything. Repeat. Always active, and oh my... Guys, remember, I don't have the greatest computer in the whole entire world. It's not the best computer ever, but, like, I mean, I tried to press C to zoom in. There's all the chicken. <laughs> Guys, this is insane. What am I going to do? Okay. Do I just leave it here? Let me feel the back of my... Oh, zero FPS. We hit zero FPS. I'm going to feel the back of my computer. I'm going to feel if it's hot or not. Okay, the back of my computer is just a tiny bit warm, so think of this. I'm recording in HD with Minecraft, with Lunar Client, I mean, with Minecraft 1.12.2. Guys, I'm just going to sit back and relax and watch these chickens explode my computer. Figuratively, not literally. They're, they're not going to literally explode my computer, but you get the idea. This is terrible. 
Okay, guys, do you reckon that I should break the command blocks now? Because I don't know if this is going to do anything. I'll move on to my next method. So, first of all, I'm going to try to break these command blocks, guys, which is literally impossible. The game is so unresponsive at this moment. Okay, let me go over to the command block. Okay, let me break it. I broke it! Okay, that's one less for my computer to render. It's still a lot, though. Okay. I need to get the other one! No! Oh my, there's no way. There's so many chickens. There's probably thousands of them right now. Okay. I'm trying to remove the command block. Break, break, break. Break, break, break. Yes! Broke it! Okay, last one, last one. Oh, this is the second to last one. Yes, I got it! Okay, now this is the laggiest part whenever I go into these storm of chickens. Quick, get to the command block! God! Break, break, break. Oh my. God, no! My computer is like so lagging right now. I mean, it's understandable. There's like probably... A Probably millions of chickens. No, not millions. But probably thousands of chickens. Break, 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 break. Did the command block break? Or is it still there? What if I do slash kill at E and then this? Oh my god. Okay, that's the command to kill all the chickens. I'm going to press enter. Guys. My game's frozen. Did I do it? <gasps> They're all dead. Let me do that again. How many of these are there? These are all floating around making my game even lag even more. God. Look at how many of these chickens I killed. My inventory is almost full. Oh my god. At least my game's nice and kind of smooth again. Not really. With all these chicken things on the ground. <clears throat> Alright, now what I'm going to do, guys, is I'm going to show you something very cool. I'm going to create a block of TNT, like a huge block of TNT, and hope that that crashes my computer. So I'm going to go into a regular super flat world, not a regular world. I'm just going to go into a super flat world. And here we are in our nice, beautiful, super flat world. Now, there's a village. That's what's cool. That, that's exactly what I wanted to see. There's a village right next to spawn. If you guys want to see, here it is. It's in 1.0.2. Let's go over to the village. Okay, I missed it by a bit. So we're going to test out what one piece of TNT can do to my computer's frame rate. So let's get a TNT. And then let's get a flint and steel. Oopsies, I did not get a flint and steel. Okay, so now I'm going to put one piece of TNT next to this villager. And let's see exactly. Two, actually. Okay, let's do one. Let's see what one piece of TNT can do to my frame rate. Let's see. Okay, my computer only dropped down to 59 frames per second. That's like nothing. So basically the computer saw no changes in frames per second. So now I'm gonna add, let's try, let's try 50 pieces of TNT, guys. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. You know what? I don't even care. Let's just do slash fill that, that, that. This 50, 10, 20 Minecraft colon TNT. That's how you do it. And this is our huge thing of TNT. Oh my goodness! Look at this. See, that's exactly how you do the command, guys. So now, 
let's see what's going to happen to my computer. And I don't know what this is going to do. But I'm going to explode it anyway. Let's go! Okay, let's see what this does. Oh, Jesus. It's not actually as bad as I would have thought. I can still move around. Unlike the chickens. I'm killing some mobs because I got the achievement Monster Hunter right there. Okay. As you can see, it's actually not bad. As you can see. Oh my. This is not actually terrible. This zombie's floating in the air. And that shows how bad the server's lagging right now. But my physical computer is not actually lagging too bad. But the server, as you can see, Minecraft is probably running on an integrated server. Oh my god, look at all these chunk updates that it's doing right now. It's trying to put all these chunks together. And look how much RAM it's using. I allocate 6 gigabytes of RAM to Minecraft. And, and yet, it's using, like, a lot of RAM. Um, I use, because I, I have 12 gigabytes of RAM in my actual system. How fast I can fly, whoa! Okay, the chunks aren't even loading, guys. Look at this. Look at that. They're not even loading the chunks correctly. That's because this computer, this server, is not, not working too well. Did you hear that, guys? I'm gonna upper my volume. Guys, oh my god! They're having, they're having chunk errors right now. Look at this, chunk error. What is this? There's the TNT's over here. Jeez. Oh my god. When does it ever stop? Is it done? I still hear it! <clears throat> there, I think it's done. I think it's done now. Look at the damage that we did. It's all bedrock here. I'm gonna run around and just see exactly what we're dealing with here. Where's the actual village? The vill did I wipe out the entire village? I think I might have wiped out the entire village and all, on, and all their population, guys. But I, I, but I have not actually successfully... Oh, I keep doing that. I have not successfully made my computer crash yet. Why is there lava over there? But I need a way to make my computer crash. I don't know... I don't know how to. Like, how do you make a computer crash on Minecraft? I know that I could probably apply some intense shaders, but wait. Shaders? Wait, I have shaders, guys. I have shaders. I have shaders. I'm gonna go ahead and save and quit. I'm gonna load up a new world, a default world, and I'm gonna apply shaders, to, guys. Shaders, and then I'm gonna explode the TNT. That is gonna kill kill this computer figuratively again i'm not literally gonna break the whole computer i'm gonna crash minecraft that's what i mean by it so i'm in the spruce world i guess i joined in a spruce world that's pretty nice if you guys want to see it again here it is there's some sheep here um i i want to explore the world before i put the shaders on so here's what minecraft looks like with no shaders it's pretty stock Stock Minecraft, nothing is so special about it, or anything such as that. Now, let's see here. So guys, in order to put shaders on, you have to do a setting called Fast Render, you have to turn that off. That will make my game laggier in the first start, as you can see I'm running about 57 frames a second. But, now that will allow us to put the shaders on, so I have to use Chocopix 13 High Performance Toaster Shaders. It's a weird name, I know, but watch it. Oh! There's nothing here! Oh my god, my mouse cursor is lagging. 
Guys, I think I. Oh my god, there's nothing in the world. My Do you see my mouse cursor, guys? It's lagging in the actual. Let me put white shaders on. Oh. Oh my. Oh my god, my mouse cursor is lagging. I'm on it. Oh my goodness, I this is crazy, guys. You're not supposed to run shaders with the computer. That's recording a video. How are you? I'm gonna do a 720p full screen. Let's put it on. Oh my god. What have I done? There's nothing here! Okay. 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 Let me, let me change them back to regular. So as you can see, shaders don't work at all with this like compu computer. Let me put shaders off. Okay, I put them all off. Now my computer is running like normal again. I need to um put fast render back on and then put our quality. Where is it? 1080p. Go back. It's back to normal. So as you guys could see, my computer could not handle shaders. Well, it can handle shaders whenever I'm not recording a video, but when I'm recording a video, it's just straight darkness. Nothing works on my iMac like when I'm recording too well, but Minecraft runs pretty well. Well, guys, I honestly don't know any other ways to crash my computer. If you guys know any other ways to crash my computer, comment down below, but I think that will be the end of our little video, guys. So I really hope that you guys enjoyed my video. Smash a like, subscribe, and I guess I'll see you guys later, so I'm going to end the video now. <clears throat> and I guess I'll see you guys later. So bye-bye. See you later. Hope you enjoyed that video.